Day 506. Today there are a lot of updates from the East. First of all, more information became available about the storming operation of the most powerful fortification in this direction, the trench network on the hill west of Klishivka. When Ukrainians finally established control over the dense tree area, Ukrainians could basically see Russian forces in the trenches in front of them. The setting was the following. Ukrainian positions were in the forest, while Russian positions were 400 meters east. Ukrainians accumulated their forces in the forest and planned to attack Russian positions by rapidly advancing towards Russian trenches along the tree line. In order to survive such a ride, Ukrainians conducted extensive artillery preparation and suppressed the enemy fire as much as possible. Russian forces understood what was coming next and paid very close attention to the accumulation forces in the small forest. Nonetheless, soon, Ukrainian fighters from the 24th and 5th assault brigades published a video of how they were walking on the fortification, confirming that the assault was successful and they cleared the trenches. Later, another footage showed how Ukrainian tank was staying in the southwestern part of the fortification and firing high-explosive shells at the next Russian positions in Klishivka. Unfortunately, the tank was targeted by the Russian ATGM crews. Despite the successful operation, moving further became temporarily problematic, because after the Russian commanders received the news about the loss of the tactical heights, they started dumping all of their reserves to Klishivka. Russian forces even deployed Chechen units to save the situation. Unfortunately for Russians, Chechen forces did not manage to break the situation in Russian favor. Ukrainians have a two-fold advantage. First of all, their positions are on the hills above Klishivka, from which Russian forces are attacking. And secondly, when Ukrainians build this trench network, they chose a very special shape. Its eastern side is wide, making it harder to attack from the enemy side, while its western side is narrow, making it easier to attack from the Ukrainian side. That is why Ukrainians managed to assault Russian positions relatively easily, and that is why Russians struggled to recapture these positions during their counterattacks. After seeing the setting in real life and losing a lot of men in futile attacks, Chechen forces retreated. Ukrainian sources reported that Chechen units are not used to operating in such difficult open environments, especially if they don't have cannon fodder as their subordinates. Chechen sources reported that Ukrainians hunted down Chechen units with artillery strikes before they even reached Bakhmut, which is why they sustained high losses and could not continue operations in this region. Ukrainian commanders report that so far, Russian forces continue throwing reserves in large numbers to save the situation. Ukrainian forces see it as an opportunity to target forces' concentrations, which is why they temporarily stopped actively pushing and assumed a defensive position, while Ukrainian reconnaissance drone operators and artillery crews are working non-stop to identify and demolish Russian troops in and around Klishivka. Once the Russian forces exhaust their reserves and the intensity of counterattacks decreases, Ukrainians will move forward and push Russians out of this settlement. If you are against the invasion of Ukraine and you want to support the work that I am doing, consider making a purchase in the online store UA Supporter. Here you can find a lot of products with Ukrainian symbols to not only show support for this channel, but also for Ukraine. The link to the online store is in the description. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next report.